Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. LSU softball came in third in the College World Series, and joining me to reflect on the year is Coach Beth Tarina. Well, Beth, first, congratulations on your second World Series with LSU. Clearly a good experience in many ways with many young players. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. I think this team did so many special things and to do it, you know, thinking we're going to return five All-Americans and we're going to return, you know, a huge number of our starters and just a great core team, I think is so exciting. Yeah, one of those All-Americans, Allie Wall Jasper, we're going to talk to her later in the week. And your win on Saturday in Oklahoma City to knock out Alabama finished very late in the night, almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So what kind of challenge was that going into facing Michigan just 15 hours later? Was that a problem at all? Or? Well, you know, we'd been in a similar spot in the regional at our place a few weeks earlier, so the team had done something like that. But I do think it's tough on them. You know, it's definitely tough on the coach. I think the girls are a little more prepared for it than I am. They're younger. They can bounce back. But um, it's tough. But, uh, you know, I said all along this team had such high goals. They would have played it, you know, the middle of the night. They would have played first thing in the morning. They would have played any time you tell them to play just because they were so excited and they wanted to win so badly. Mm -hmm. And as far as that Michigan team that that eliminated y'all six to three, um, just tell me about the what the Wolverines did that made the game so tough for for y'all. Well, I think Michigan is a really solid team. I think top to bottom, one through nine in their lineup, they're really strong. I think they have so many things going for them. And, you know, their pitcher, Haley Wagner, had a great day against us. She was really tough on our hitters and really came in the game and shut us down. So I, I think they're going to do great in this upcoming series here with Florida. It's going to be tough. I think both teams are extremely talented. It's going to be fun for all the fans to watch. Right, and that gets started tonight. And what do you hope your players learned from this season where you won 52 games and were ranked number one for the first time in program history? You know, hopefully they understand what it takes to be there and, and you know I think it's a tough thing to go to the College World Series and even tougher to win while you're there so hopefully they understand what it takes and you know next year they can come back and not have the same season but an even better one and just you know continue to improve the areas we need to improve and you know really go and finish the job next year. Right, and you are going to have a, a, good, a good core of returning players, like you said, uh, especially on the mound, uh, so that has to kind of make you optimistic. Definitely, you know, those two freshmen did so many great things for us on the mound, and both were named All-Americans, so, you know, we're so excited to have them return. We're so excited to, you know, return the entire infield and, and return a huge portion of our lineup. Of course, we'll miss the three seniors, and, you know, AJ was a mainstay on the field, but Kaylee and Dylan were great leaders for us off the field and did so many big things for this program, so we're going to miss them, and, you know, we have big shoes to fill, but, you know, hopefully this core of players can continue to grow the program. Absolutely. Well, Beth, it's been great talking with you all season long. And again, we'll uh, have a good have a good off season and talk to you again soon. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.